wanderer. Although you lack a pair of wings, like a fairy, your floral scent sings. Savior of our kind and eternal friend. Open your eyes to see silver once again, for your journey has yet to end. Oh, I remember this scent. White lilies. It's so sparkly and beautiful. Whoa. This is the fairy kingdom! <laughs> Where do I go first? Ah! There! <laughs> oh no! Please, no more spores! The fairies... They're singing a song for White Lily Cookie. If it wasn't for White Lily Cookie, the fairy kingdom would not have been able to prevent the Great Calamity. Hearing His Majesty describe how the arrival of the Great Calamity would mean great danger for the entire dessert world, White Lily Cookie stepped up to help us without a hint of hesitation. Using every bit of her strength, she stopped the unthinkable. I had heard of ancient heroes beyond Beast Yeast who possessed the power of light, but I'd yet to come across it myself. It was the first time I saw a cookie whose power could rival the strength of His Majesty Elder Fairy. And although White Lily Cookie has fallen into an eternal sleep, it is said her soul is still fighting to protect the world of cookies. I guess the Shard of the Light of Freedom didn't disappear because White Lily Cookie's soul is still out there. What do you mean? White Lily Cookie's soul is Dark Enchantress Cookie's soul. Then, does that mean Dark Enchantress Cookie is tricking the fairies? To prevent the Great Calamity. This way! I'm so happy I could help you reunite with your friend! Dark Enchantress Cookie. I'm not going to fall for it this time. White Lily Cookie needs your help. She must wake up. Pure Vanilla Cookie. So that she may hear my voice once more. Pure Vanilla Cookie. Oh, the voice. It's calling out to me again. It brought me all the way here to find you. Pure Vanilla Cookie. Do you think it's another one of Dark Enchantress Cookie's traps? Even if Dark Enchantress Cookie defeats all the four ancient heroes and seizes their soul gems, the one thing she can never possess is the light of freedom. For it could only shine for White Lily Cookie and her alone. And yet, she willingly chose to become another cookie. 
The shards of the light of freedom that we encountered in the forests of beast yeast. And the light that remains within White Lily Cookie slumbering here. They are remnants of White Lily Cookie that Dark Enchantress Cookie can never steal. I'm sure of it. But how? What keeps these fragments from disappearing? What could have happened to White Lily Cookie? <sighs> Silver Bell Cookie, I hear you've let Outlanders into our kingdom. Oh, Mercurial Knight Cookie. These cookies are friends of White Lily Cookie. His Majesty orders you to bring these outsider cookies before him. His Majesty wants to see us? Elder Fairy, this should answer a lot of our questions. White Lily Cookie's past, and this great calamity. Lead the way. Follow me. Let us tend to the wounded first. Step forth. Not gonna lie, I'm kinda nervous. So, it is you. Those who claim to be White Lily Cookie's allies. I mean, kind of. Yeah, it's all a bit complicated. I see cookies who bear the fate of the desert world on their shoulders before me. A cookie who took control of his own fate with his bravery. Oh, that, 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 that's me? Is he talking about me? A warm-hearted cookie who always puts her friends first. <laughs> A cookie of short stature, yet wise beyond his size. Did he really have to point that out? And an ancient hero. A cookie of light who protects the balance of this world. Your Majesty... Allow me to introduce us. This is Ginger Brave, Strawberry Cookie, Wizard Cookie. I am Pure Vanilla Cookie. We come from the land of Crispia. We are here in our search of a cookie who is threatening the peace of the cookie world. A cookie by the name of... Dark Enchantress Cookie. How did you know? <sighs> Since ancient times... I have protected this silver tree at the Order of the Witches. Throughout the ages, there have always been cookies who coveted the dark power it seals. None have succeeded to this day. Seeing to that is one of my many duties. I think there's a slight misunderstanding. Say, do you realize that White Lily Cookie sleeping over there and Dark Enchantress Cookie are... the same? Yes, I am perfectly aware. The dough of White Lily Cookie that rests here in the Fairy Kingdom is the part of her that did not transform into Dark Enchantress Cookie. Can you tell us what happened to White Lily Cookie? In days gone by, White Lily Cookie departed on a dangerous adventure to unveil the truth behind the creation of Cookie Kind. Her path led her here, to the Fairy Kingdom. No matter how many times I warned her of the perils ahead, she refused to give up her mission. Instead, I made sure she carried a piece of moonstone with her wherever she goes. 
so that she may travel back here through the paths of the other realm. A piece of moonstone? But the moonstone is... Yes, it is forbidden dark moon magic practiced by the witches only. The moonstone leads to the other realm known by the name Dark Side of the Moon. Is it the same moonstone as the one in the Blueberry Magic Academy? Yes. White Lily Cookie used it to open gates to other dimensions during her days as a student. White Lily Cookie must have used the piece of the moonstone to escape something terrible. Beyond that, her fate remains unknown to me. Not long after she left the Fairy Kingdom, the evil, dark Enchantress Cookie was born, and White Lily Cookie's empty husk of a doe was brought here via the Moonstone. Then it means... White Lily Cookie didn't transform into Dark Enchantress Cookie, but instead split in two. It would seem so. However, mere whispers of White Lily Cookie's soul remain intact. And scattered across the world as light of freedom. Your Majesty, you said that White Lily Cookie helped the Fairy Kingdom by preventing the Great Calamity back then. How exactly did she manage to do that? It is related to the power that is sealed by the Silver Tree, the power that Dark Enchantress Cookie is after. I suppose it is easier to simply show you. Everyone did their best. and balance of this world of chaos. Oh, sheltering light, shine upon us. As your silver buds bloom, sealing the great shadow in the deepest depths. Are you aware of where your power comes from and how it is being used, pure vanilla cookie? What are you saying? The power of virtue, purified by the witches themselves, the soul jam that you harness. You are not the first to wield that power. The same goes for the other ancient heroes. What? The ancient heroes? Are not the true owners? Of their soul jam? Well then, who is? The story begins when this very silver tree was only a small sapling. When the world of desserts was at its infancy, the witches baked five cookies to help them in their creation of the world. Harness the radiance bestowed upon you for the betterment of this world. And the five cookies, imbued with absolute powers, walked earth-bred as almighty envoys of the great creators. Knowledge, volition, happiness, change, 
and solidarity. The desert world bound by these five virtues was nothing short of paradise. So those five cookies were the original owners of the Soul Jam? Huh. Those five virtues are different from those of the Soul Jams. Alas, the perfect age was short-lived. Absolute power begets nothing but arrogance. It inevitably corrupts its wielder, bringing them to the most tragic of ends. A fate even the witches were unable to foresee. One by one, the five, once regarded as saviors of the cookie world, gradually turned to darkness. And thus, the five virtues, too, became distorted, twisted, reduced to deceit, apathy, sloth, destruction, and silence. Deceit, apathy, sloth, destruction, and silence. Ugh, that sounds really scary. Now known as the Five Beasts, the Apostles of Evil began their dark crusade. And forth they brought great destruction and suffering. The witches could not bear to see what fate had befallen their creations. They punished the beasts by sealing them away deep within this land and planted the seed of the silver tree to ensure their evil power never sees the light of day again. From then on, this land where the beasts were put to sleep was called Beast Yeast. The witches then gathered the last vestiges of power bestowed upon the beasts, untouched by their corruption. They further cleansed, purified it, and in the end, Soul Jam was created. The purest Soul Jam was meant to be earned by cookies who had proven themselves worthy. One of them is the light of truth that you received at the end of your long, arduous journey down the Pilgrim's Path. Before, both truth and deceit existed within the light of knowledge. Cleansing and purifying it created the soul jam that you wield today. This means the power of deceit is now... Yes, it remains sealed somewhere in beast yeast. And yet, your light of truth serves another purpose, which is to balance the scales of good and evil to ensure the beasts stay confined. The tree has five main branches. Seems like they represent the soul jam of each ancient hero. They're so shiny. But one of them looks dimmer than the other. One by one, four of the soul jams regained their strength. But for a long time, all of these branches were close to wilting. After the Dark Flower War, when all the soul jams have been shattered into pieces and scattered all across the world. During that long period of imbalance, the five beasts saw it as an opportunity to regain their strength. Huh? They recovered in such a short time? As the Guardian, I channeled all my power to keep the seal intact. But my strength alone was not enough and the beasts have already grown much too strong. Now, this great evil lies hidden somewhere in beast yeast, ready to strike at any moment. Is there a way to prevent the beasts from escaping? Our last hope is to bring back the fifth ancient hero, White Lily Cookie, and her light of freedom. If we are able to do so, we just might be able to repress the evil forces sealed here in Beast Yeast. Is that really possible? Although the light of freedom may be scattered across Beast Yeast, White Lily Cookie's branch on the Silver Tree still shines brightly as ever. Not all may be lost. Perhaps there is still a way to gather the light of freedom and restore it to its full glory. But 
As of now. So we can revive White Lily Cookie by gathering all the shards of the Light of Freedom? I can hear it. The voice of the Light of Freedom speaks to me. Really? Is that really true? Then there is hope for us still. There is no time to waste. The beasts may yet escape and bring the great calamity upon us. And Dark Enchantress Cookie, whom you have been chasing endlessly, will not let such an opportunity pass. Pure Vanilla Cookie, you must gather the shards. White Lily Cookie's Light of Freedom. The last hope Dark Enchantress Cookie has yet to corrupt.
Butter Caramel Arrow Cookie, awaiting your orders. Guaranteed victory! Shot. You cannot pass. I will not. 
not fall. I will not falter. Fine. I will Ready not protect falter. Me. I will not falter! There's a funny! Hi! Shut I knew you could do it! The day is not properly finished without dessert, with soft cream on top.
Do you like merry-go-rounds?
Watch out, or you might just fall for me. White Lily Cookie is our hero. Let's see how far we can fly. 